Hello and welcome everyone to another YouTube video here on my channel. Today we have an Atraxa list. I know there's so many hype about the card. It is a good card. And uh, this is the five color version, like the traditional, just all the cards with domain cards. And I will definitely bring some more Atraxa list. I mean, I just want to showcase everyone uh, so you can see the decks uh, with Atraxa. This is the classic one, the five color one. I had some really interesting uh, games with it. You're gonna see what I mean. It's a shorter video because uh, you probably saw already enough of it. In the end, I will mention if uh, you're okay, like with shorter videos, with longer videos, definitely let me know. And I think we just jump right in to the deck tech and let's go. Okay, so this is the deck we're gonna play today. It is one of many attracts of variants. And this is, I would say the Boar plus Elish Norn version. Um, yeah, there's just many ways to do it. The, the, the goal of this type of decks is usually to play Atraxa. Grand Unifier gets an immense value because it's 7 mana spells, 7-7, seven, seven, Flying, Vigilance, Death, Touch, Lifelink. When Atraxa, Grand Unifier enters the battlefield, reveal the top 10 cards of your library. For each card type, you may put a card of that type from among the real elite cards into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in random order. So, artifacts. Uh, creature, enchantments, instant, land, battle, right, planeswalker, sorcery, like all the card times, right? And we have to make sure that we have some. We usually don't have a lot of instants because it's hard to really have an instant in this one. But this is the this is the more uh, like like more five colorish type deck. You can you can build this in many ways. And we have uh, an additional Kami War. It's also a five color card. So um, yeah, six mana, it has exile target, non permanent opponent open controls. Uh, turn turn two, second, second uh, interaction is return up to one other target, non permanent to its owner's hand. Then each each opponent discards a card. And then we can exile it and Okagachi made manifest comes into play, which is a six, six dragon spirit. Um, it has all cards, flying trample. When it attacks, target player chooses a non land card in your graveyard, return that card to your hand. Okachi manifest gets plus X plus zero until end of turn, where X is the money value of that card. So, I mean, just overall a really good card. And we play a lot of triumphs, which makes a ley line binding really, really strong. Six mana, uh, flash, but it has a domain. Domain is the spell costs one less to cast for each basic land type among the lands you control when ley line binding enters the battlefield. Exile target non land permanent on opponent control until Leyline Binding leaves the battlefield. So this is the more domain focused Atraxa deck. Um, yeah, this is a really good removal. Um, it is an enchantment, but it's a really good removal. You also have two strangles here. It's also technically removal. It hits Planeswalkers as well, which is three damage to a creature or Planeswalker. We have to go for the throat, which is a two mana destroy target non artifact creature instant. We have Blue Sun's Twilight to take something over. Can be really, really useful. You can play like one-offs. You can play even more one-offs because of Atraxa. Uh, yeah, here we can gain control of a creature with money value X or less. If X is five or more, create a token. That's a copy of that creature. Uh, we play uh, two, four Bank Busters, two mana for four, right? Um, yeah, I mean, Bank Busters, I probably don't have to explain too much. It's just a really good card draw. Overall, it can attack. And the Bank Buster is really cool with the boar here. Um, this is a deck where we play the bar, especially with the many uh, lands we need. It's a 3 mana 3-3, three, three, which is already decent. And when the bar enters the battlefield, look at the top 4 cards of your library. You may really a land card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library into a random order. If you didn't, put a card into your hand. This way, proliferate. Uh, yeah, so there's multiple things going on here, but it is really decent. And of course, free Fable. I don't think I have to explain that card too much either. It's just overall really strong, right? It's just 2-2, two, two. discard and uh, draw. And also, of course, getting the treasure to play something earlier and we can exile and get the kick cheeky, which is definitely good as well with the bar. And yeah, then we play one Unleashed Inferno for mana, uh, does seven damage to a target creature Planeswalker. When it deals exceed damage this way, destroy target artifact or enchantment. This is obviously really, really nice. And But yeah, the enchantment or the artifact has to be in mana value less than or equal equal to that amount of excess damage. So usually it's nice to hit the bank buster with like killing like a shell rat or uh, something like that. And yeah, you also play uh, two drag to the bottom. You can definitely play more um, if you feel like you need to, but the meta shifts a lot. So if the meta, uh, in the meta you see like there's a lot of awkward decks, play may, way more of them. If in the meta you see um, more control decks, play less of them, but drag to the bottom is a four mana domain. Each creature gets minus X minus X until the end of turn where X is one plus the number 
of basic land types among lands you control. So again, with the triumphs, we usually have a minus six, minus six here, which is really nice because it doesn't hit uh, Atraxa and it doesn't hit Elish Norn. But yeah, you can definitely play three or four here. Uh, we play Elish Norn. Elish Norn motto of the machines here. Five mana for seven. We mainly play this because this deck is really popular right now. And it's really good against Atraxa itself because it shuts off Atraxa and it makes our cards even stronger. Of, co of course, I mean, you could get double effect of Atraxa here if you really miss. And I can tell you the games today were, for me, it happens, right? I had like seven, like 10 lands in a row and 14 lands drawn, like everything happened, but I can only show only one game, but yeah, just, just FYI, it can happen. And yeah, we have also an Eternal Wanderer here. Um, six mana planeswalker five loyalty we can exile a, a creature artifact blink it out of the game and then it comes back at that player's next end step which is nice and create a 2-2 two, two white summer creature token defensive offensively and minus four for each player choose a creature that players control each player sacrifice all creature they control not chosen this way it's nice to get rid of tokens for example or just of creatures in general it's like a pseudo bot wipe and yeah no more than one creature can attack their eternal wanderer but yeah elish known um, shut off like the end of the battlefield and this is I wanted to add it in the stack because right now in the meta you see it a lot and uh, yeah also of course the permanence can trigger again and again so it's, it's it's an interesting card but mainly it's there just to take stuff away uh, this is the mana base we have all the legendary lands we have some um, non-legendary lands and the rest are triumph in the side pop we play two rest against certain matchups strangle for more uh, ball control also to hit uh, planeswalk between the gates if we have to protect our spell or if there are spells we have to counter to abrade um, to destroy artifacts or just have another removal nimble larcenist feels really good right now because there's a lot of uh, greedy decks and you want to get like the the big spells away because it's three mana to one when nimble larcenist ends the battlefield target opponent reveals their hand you choose an artifact instant or sorcery card from it and exile that card drag to the bottom here again just if we need it elishinon an extra one because in the mirror this card is just way too good it basically shuts off opponent's deck uh, kotose the silent spider also against uh, this type of deck or against any other deck that really needs a certain card this is also the blue eye control deck right remember where <coughs> you have uh, uh, one win con or something like that and farewell if you just need more uh, wipe potential um, you can build this deck in so many ways this is the first atraxa deck i will definitely show you guys more but this is the five color. This is something you maybe saw on other streams, maybe saw like uh, on, on some websites. I just added the Elish Norm because of the current meta. You see more Atraxas, so this is really, really nice. Um, I wanna say I didn't play many games. I did actually play many games with this deck, but uh, I was really unlucky and I think these type of, I mean, you don't want to watch me like draw 14 lands like multiple times. So I make a little bit of a thing. You can see what happens, but yeah. I just wanted to show the deck and show you a game, what you can do with it. And yeah, that's about it. And just watch the games. Let's go. Hmm. Esper Legendos. Drag the bottom is really good in this matchup. That is the most annoying one. They have to push it to 6-6. Six, six, so. Which is not too easy to do. We want an untapped land here. So we can cut tapped land into a six mana spell if you want to. This is already activated, so if we have to make sure that we uh, get it well cooked. So we're gonna block here. But they do play the counter dude. So that is not cool. So if we block here, it's kinda like telegraphed. So we hope they play something, like that, for example. If they have Spell Pierce, then GG.
Okay, they didn't. So we can go Kami War, which is kind of nice. It gives us a lot of time. Especially against this, it's super nice. This is the perfect, yeah. This is this is the perfect target here. Sequencing wise, that felt really good. Against Esper Legend, you want to have more removals. More removals. I'm not sure if a braid is what we want. Do you want strangles? They have a lot of free toughness creatures. Maybe we go. It's tricky. Elish Norn doesn't seem good in this matchup, right? They don't really have to enter. In fact, they have one card, but it's on cost. So, no Elish Norn here. Could add an extra farewell, because the Exile is quite good. Takeover is good. We add another Strangle, it just seems too good. Eternal Wanderer. Maybe too slow now. Bindings are good, triangles are good. Blues on the Twilight is decent, but the Hexproof card is still more annoying. So board type is definitely better. I'm not sure if Unleash is, is a way too more way too expensive removal. I think we run it like this. Against Espo Legends. And yeah, we had the cards, it lined up really well. So yeah, let's see. Mm, that's okay. Two bindings. We don't have white though, but just need to find it. Turn two bank boss is also okay. We found the white. This is a decent binding target. Before they have the hexproof up there. Because that one can come back, so let's get rid of it. If they play a Rafine, we can also bind it. Sure. That's definitely an answer you can have. Um, I would say we go with a decent blocker here. We go for no my Ooh, that's unlucky. Two, two on the top. That's painful. Two board drives on the top is painful. Um, okay. Sure. Tapped out. That's okay for me. Don't see a lot of wanderers in these lists, but it is what it is. Um, interesting spot, but. Take the Wanderer here. Okay, that changes it. A bit too many lands here, but I definitely prefer getting a creature here. And if they play another Lauren, then it's Lauren for Lauren, right? So they technically lose something. Grasp, okay, yeah, sure. It's a way to deal with the Truxa. Don't have a really good hand, but I mean we can discard here. Quite good. They find a board vibe, it's not gonna be good for them. Seven, we would be dead. So the only way here is to actually find something like a binding. Okay, it's not. Yeah, I don't know. It's a bit of a landlord situation here, but you know, not much we can do. Not much we can do. Definitely on the landlord side here. Especially to drag to the bottom or on top of the deck. And we played the ball, which I still think is the correct play, and both went down. So, uh, it's, 
sometimes you have these games where you just like things go wrong, right? The first game things go right. It's, it's magic. It's magic. Okay, we're gonna play this mainly because we want to have the bank bust out. If we get the bank bust out, and we can draw one before they destroy it, and we just need to find a green, and then we smooth. So triple bank bust actually bad. Yeah, let's see. Found the green, we have to draw a card here, so we wait though. So yeah, they probably have it, right? But we do want to draw a card here. It's not the one. Okay, we found lands, which is good. We finding lands, this is really good. This is important. Can go in here. A four. Again, it was a board by on the bottom, which we don't like usually, but it is what it is. Okay. Sure. Yeah, I mean we knew this card will come. This is the obvious one. Now... How do we play this one? I think it's like this. No attack, pass. Keeping binding up here. Seems correct. That's definitely a wanderer. Okay, that's fine. Fine. Then it's free to give indestructible here. I think it's yeah, it's interesting, right? I mean, we can get rid of it and turn. This will trigger. But if they have another Lauren, they, they kill this and another Lauren kills this, so we don't do that. attack here. Okay, we don't attack here. Apparently. Apparently we don't attack. I mean, we have now a bank buster and this, so like, they need to deal with stuff. We take draws here. We still have 18, which is still in a good position. This land is usually the hardest, but they don't have mana, so it's hard to just keep mana open to protect your spells. So that we do like. And we're gonna block here. If, if we can force a wandering, always do that. 
Because we will call me Water Wonder there. That is for sure. Hmm. I have to. They could have a removal here, but I still think it's worth it. I cannot take five. If they tap out, they tap out, which is okay by me. If they sacrifice the land there, that's definitely also okay by me. Okay, we take that. We take that 100%. Now we need to get rid of the board. I mean, we have to get rid of that 5 4 thing there. We draw cards, sure. We own 17, so, like. Long run, we should win this. We have the bigger spells. They have definitely creature with a lot of value, but we have the bigger spells. It's an annoying card, but it is what it is. We're gonna bounce it. I think it's just way too good not to do it here. Wait, let's look at this. Okay, yeah, we got it. Esper Lash is a good deck, but I mean, we managed to do it, so... Good cause, I guess. <laughs> Next. <laughs> oh, I'm on the play, so I get an early uh, fable. I'm gonna keep this. The greedy me is gonna keep this. Mono blue tempo will be hard though. Oh god. Let's force all the counters out, right? They have to counter this, it's caught value, they cannot keep up with countering. Sure. Mono blue is something you rarely see nowadays. We got we have six expensive spell and a three on our hands, which is a bit unlucky. Bit unlucky. Sure. We have an answer for the chin here. So if we play bind if they play chin we play binding counter blue sun on chin would be decent. <laughs> so we have a decent block for early on. So like it's the moment, right? Is the moment, right? This is a binding for one mana, flash. They have bounces, but I mean, bounces against this binding doesn't help. Well, that's nothing. We want to draw, but we get rid of a gin there. Well, you know what we do, huh? You know what we do. You know exactly what we do here. I mean, we got two chains out of the game already, I mean, we take it. Now it's gonna be hard to do the other chains. This is an amazing card. 
I'm gonna have a land here. Didn't find a land. Bank busts are now amazing draw. Okay, it's the chin number 700, which is not fun. Mm. You have to use the bank buster. I have to use the bank buster and find another binding. I mean, if they have three chin at the top 20 cards, that's also impressive. Definitely impressive. That needs skill. Having three chins in top 20 needs needs skill. You're definitely a better match to play if you can do that. Especially after losing two to the bindings and resolving a bank buster in this scenario. And now I will lose to the third chin. Shuffler is okay. Two mana open. So binding would be beautiful. Binding, counter, and then twilight. Would be the best case scenario. Best case for sure. Fate of hope. Fading hope. Binding. It's not a binding. Oh yeah, this is probably it now. We don't have an answer for this. Oh, for this. That's the only thing we can do, sadly. Mono blue. I don't know why they play mono blue. Like. Maybe because Piles got more greedy, but I just don't think this is good. So, yeah. It is what it is. Strangle, no. This hits stuff, and now probably gonna cut the track. So, here, Heavy Shinor goes out. Wander's too expensive. We need to keep still this stuff here, otherwise, you cannot win, but. Yeah, I mean, you can win with Fables, right? Ah, this deals with both, which is kind of nice. Pollution's Twilight is too ambitious. Too ambitious. Hmm. Call Me War feels... It's probably good, but six mana removal, I don't know. It's a bit clunky. It is nice, like in a value matchup, but I rather than the Atraxa there. But resolving Atraxa is almost impossible, so we have to win a Fable and Bank Bosses and the low creatures. We keep this. We don't have green though, but... We have to resolve a bank cluster, which is almost impossible. Feels like really hard to do. I can see Mono Blue getting a comeback for sure. If people play like these type of decks. Opponent, you have to give me the torch. To give me the torch. No green here's not cool. I still think we run the table here. Mm. 
we have to go for it. It's not cool. We have two bindings again, so hopefully this time we manage to deal with these stupid chins. Oof. Okay, they don't have lots of draw spells the way it looks like. They play chain and will drag the bottom. That is no counter right there. Feels like two islands. They had two islands to this card now. An island, so they have one more island in hand. We don't have green, which is a bit awkward that we only have these, but... This is what it is. That is good. That is good for us. That's a chin. Trying to protect the chin, I guess. We have to go for it. Oh, spell pierce, that's painful. Yeah, if they had another counter, it's game. Sad. Okay, we matched. There was no counter in hand anymore. So please, no auto chain here. Blocks the 5 5 at least and it gives us a land. They also have no stroke. I would take the white land here. The chain is the only problem. We have one chain and one we have here, so we need to find bindings. Okay. That just cycle. Four cards is most likely a chain. Mm. So. Yeah, we need to find something. If possible, two things. Um, it's the only thing we can do. The only thing we can do. And we can try to find something, right? But yeah, Mono Blue is Mono Blue. Mono Blue is Mono Blue. They have it or they have it not, right? So, okay, I mean, sure. I mean, you can try. I'm not happy about it, of course, but... Uh, well, it's game three now, guys. We may be, I mean, it was a close game anyways, but this is a game three now. <laughs> I, I hope I can show another game besides this. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. And we have to accept it. Is it the rest? Minus Bankbuster. With this one. Hmm. I'm not too happy with that we only draw lands, but 
that's about it. I cannot change it. I mean, I counter it if they want to. Da! <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is the most stupid game I've played in ever. So, who has more lands game? The who has more lands game? That's an interesting game. Okay, I mean, this is the game we play, and this is the game. If, I think if they play slow, it goes to our favor, but... Like, they have no idea that we have four triumphs in our hand. So I'm happy about that. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the same situation, my friend. This is so funny. <laughs> what a game. This is a game. This is what we call the game. Uh, Good old fashioned game. I only don't know what to say right now. Just need to make sure that the blue is up there. Hello, game? I'm not happy about this. Like, we drew like 10 lands in a row. <laughs> so, I mean, this time we shouldn't draw that, right? I mean, at this point, it's kind of... Imagine you couldn't cycle these lands. Hey, this is not real life. At this point, no real life. We drew, I think, eight land. Chat, oh, chat, I'm streaming. Let me know how many lands we drew. Like, I really want to know, like, seven or eight? We had, like, two cards from the start, and the rest were lands. This is ridiculous. It doesn't make me happy. <laughs> it doesn't make me happy. <laughs> Oh my god, come on magic. Like like first you first you troll me with the pay there and then you do this. God, dude! Dude, what the heck? What is going on? Guys, what is this? Someone needs to explain me what's going on right now. Like, this is... <laughs> I'm literally here. <clears throat> I'm literally here recording for an hour. Just to get mana screw. Uh, just to hit nothing of a truck sound. But, um, this happens sometimes. If you want those type of decks in a video, let me know if that's okay, just just to watch, like, not me doing something. Because I think if I want to show a deck, then the deck should actually do what it's supposed to do. And I don't mind putting a loss into, like, a, in a video, but it's just about... It's not even a loss, right? If it just... It, it happens, and that's fine. But if you want to see it, just let me know. I mean, I, I will put it in the video. And yeah, if you like this type of deck, and if you have an Atraxa deck yourself, Definitely let me know in the Discord. You can check out my other YouTube videos. You can follow me on Twitch. You can subscribe here if you like. Uh, yeah, just support. It's free. And uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day or evening, no matter where you are in the world. Bye.